Hey everybody, so here you have the Tender uh, Model 03, the box. What we're going to do now is just follow on with this review. We're going to do an unboxing of this device so you guys can see what it looks like and how what it comes with, etc. So when we open up, we have a nice little neat tray over here. So let's take a look at what's on this. Right, so in this tray, what we have here, it's not a failure to communicate. You have a couple of manuals and booklets, quick starter guides, etc., on how to get this thing up and going. And then in the box, it comes with two cable ties, the PoE power supply, a small cap 5 cable, and the PoE injector. Now, the PoE injector is pretty much just a device where the DC power supply plugs in here on the black point, and then it supplies PoE to the actual device via the Ethernet cable. Then of course you get your actual unit. Um, it's not very big and as you can see there's some information down here, some status LEDs over here. And If you look here this is where the device can either be mounted to the wall using these with wall plugs or screws or it can be mounted to the pole using the cable ties through here. Um, I would suggest putting some rubber or something in here just to stop it from sort of wind rotation or anything like that. So there you have the device and to access it I have one open but you can open up some more. This just slides down and away from the device. Inside you've got a ground point, reset button, a LAN port and this is if you're using it more like a router and then you've got your PoE LAN port or WAN port whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. So if you're using this as an AP, your WAN port will be where you're going in, and then the device will be an access point. If you're using it as a router, the WAN port will possibly come in over here, and then you can use the LAN port down to your switch or whatever you want to do uh, to make your network. It's quite a simple sort of setup. The only thing I don't like about this is the way it closes, this lip goes in which means water could potentially get inside you. I feel they should have put the lip at the bottom so when it seals in it creates like a runoff barrier. But uh, minor nonetheless you could probably just insulate it up or something like that. But um, all in all a nice little piece of kit. Right everybody so now we've taken a close look at the actual um, Tender 03 uh, high powered access point. So the next thing we need to do is probably look at the software. But what I'm going to do is get the thing set up and operational and then I'll give you guys some feedback in a couple of days on the software setup and of course the functionality of the device. Please be prepared for a whole lot more reviews of this tender equipment as we have acquired a whole bunch of tender equipment and uh, we may possibly be um, getting some other equipment to review from one of our local suppliers and if that's the case There'll be a lot more new content coming your way soon. So keep watching the channel and uh, keep watching for part two of this uh, review.